Alrighty, so a bit of an exciting one today. I've got the Swordman Real Mile here. <laughs> Keen to try this bad boy out. So here it is just here. So I'm going to show you guys quickly how I'm going to set it up and then we're going to get into a mow and give you guys my first impressions. But Oh my gosh. Beautiful. Mm. Mm. But anyway, let's get into it. Yo mate, what up? Welcome to another lawn tip vid. Today I finally get to use this mower. I got it last week on Thursday and today is Monday so I'm really keen to test this bad boy out. Thank you so much to the guys at Swardman Mowers Australia um, for sending this down for me to trial out. Mate, I'm excited to see what it's like. I've, I've seen a lot of things online about this mower but I haven't used one for myself so I'm really keen to try it out. Give you guys my first impressions and just, you know, give it a crack mowing some grass but um, as you can see the lawn you can never tell on camera but the lawn is a bit long um, so it'll be a really good opportunity to actually test this mower out and see how it goes on my nice long grass um, we're gonna be cutting at my usual height today 14 to 15 mil I sort of float around at the moment um, as you can see grass is it's long but it's not like it's not crazy long but yeah it's definitely in need of a mower today. Right, so first impression is just from the look of it. I tell you what, these are a beautiful build quality. Like, it is a good looking machine. If you can say that about a mower. <laughs> anyway, like, it looks great. I have not even started this thing up yet. So, it's going to be dead set first impressions. Um, yeah, I've set it up enough so that I can use it and mow with. But, like, I had to adjust the handlebars. Which you can adjust down here to how they sit. You obviously just undo that little grub screw to see, not grub screw, just this screw. Um, and then you can adjust it back and forth. Um, and then obviously, I had to put my beer holder on there. Can't go without that. They even got, how funny is this, they even got a little phone holder so you can chuck your phone in there. And you know, if you want to get some text messages or do something while you're mowing, you can. Um, but mate, this looks awesome. So, Catcher here. It's very modern looking, isn't it? It's all like magnetic as magnetic as well. Oh, I doing that. But yeah, look at this thing. Mm. Mm -hmm. Alright, so first thing I'm just gonna adjust the reel to the bed knife, so let's just tip it back. We'll make sure that the fuel tap is turned off. And then we'll just quickly lean it back. Not quickly, safely. So as you can see around the back as well, it's got some wheels which can help you lean it back, which I think is such an awesome design. Smart, very smart. So let's just see if this is cutting paper all the way across, eh? So when you are adjusting your reel to bed knife, you need to make sure it's not really touching that much. Now, wear some gloves if you're doing this. I don't have any gloves because my brother stole them from me and has them at his house. So I've got no gloves today. But yeah, just be careful when you are doing this. Um, but as you can hear, there's basically no contact. It's just slightly contacting. But we get a piece of paper, basically just see if it's cutting all the way across. Yep. So good boy. Yeah man. Oh. So you see it's not a cutting on this end. So this needs to, this reel needs to come down towards the bed knife a bit. So I think Go. There's an adjuster just here, so you turn that to the right and it should bring it down. So we get our tool out of our bag just here. Oh yeah. And then we basically just, just a smidge, just a smidgey smidge to the right and it should be cutting now. Let's have a look and see. Oh my gosh. Hear that? Sounds nice and even too. Wait, good stuff. Now we're just gonna adjust our height. So, first things first, you can see this is your adjuster here. So we've got, what, 50 mil down to 
minus 14. Sweet. Obviously that's when you're scarifying and, and trying to dig something out of the soil, <laughs> not when you're trying to cut. Um, but we're going to aim for 15 today, so can you see that line just there? Hopefully you can, so we're going to adjust it back. So it's nearly on 15 mil actually, it's at about 17. So all we're going to do is get our little Allen key. Just here. Bim bada boom. Undo this locking nut just here. Easy as pie. And obviously, undo that. And then we're going to adjust it to 15. So obviously, if you adjust it down like that, the roller is going to move like that, move up and down. So that's what determines our height of cut. Is that just there? You can see it's moving in conjunction with that. So anyway, let's set it to 15. Man, that is easy. It's actually really good. Now we just do back up our locking nut. Alrighty, so we're going to get a cut on it in a second, so what we're going to do is we're going to go one direction straight up and down, then the second direction we're going to go across ways as well, so, you know, north, south, east, west. Yeah, no, that's right, my house is facing that way. <laughs> First time we're going to go um, with the catcher on, and then second time with the catcher off, just so we can see the difference, so I can get a bit of a feel for it as well. Um, First impressions with the mower, I thought it was going to be a bit light because they look a bit light, um, but it's a very similar weight to my little Rover. It is a little bit bigger, so I'd say it's probably the same white weight, sorry, if not slightly lighter. Um, a few people asked me about this rear roller just here. Um, it seems alright, like it's not as solid as the Scott Bonner ones, like as in, you know, it's obviously not made of, it's made of aluminium instead, but it's still pretty good and it's pretty awesome how it's got this little I don't know what the technical term is for these things but that'll clean off any mud that tries to get stuck to the roller um, it's a rose petal um, and any grass that tries to get stuck to that roller as well so it's more solid than it looks in the photos guys it's fine I think it'll be fine but I'll obviously let you know once I finish mowing but seems right to me That is quiet. Wow, that is quiet. Let's rev it up and see how loud it is. Oh, yeah. I can't believe how quiet that thing is. Can you still hear me pretty well? Nice. Look at that. So you pull this side here, and that engages the reel. Drive on this side here. Alright, moment of truth, eh? I'll tell you what, that is so easy to use. So smooth, boy. Very, very smooth. I thought it was honestly going to be a little bit light and it was going to float around because my Rover does sometimes, but no. Nah. Really awesome. Now, I needed to bring the height down a slight bit. Obviously, I was cutting a little bit lower than 15 mil, so I'm going to adjust it back to about... I might even go back to 12 mil with this bad boy. But, mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Cuts so cleanly and it looks good. We're going to get some sweet syrups with this bad boy too once we run into a bit further along, but... Mate... Impressed so far, but let's keep using it. Use it for a bit longer. But I'll just quickly adjust that height there, bring it down a bit more, and keep going. See, my stripes are a bit wobbly. 
don't matter though. But look how clean this cut is along here. Like my old mower, like honestly, would lay the grass blades over more than cut it like that. So it, it is cutting really well. Sorry about the baby crying in the background. Um, but yeah, what do you reckon, bra? I don't say it's good. Josh just popping over to check it out. Yeah, I'm cutting a bit more than the third <laughs> leaf off at the moment. I'm cutting heaps yeah, off. Nah. Prefer to cut that cleanly when it's that long. Like my Rover never ever cut that clean. And I'm not just talking this up either, like seriously. It didn't. Crazy. So what do you reckon about the weight of it? Because people keep asking me. I'll see without the catch. What the weight of it is. Honestly, it's not far off. Yeah, it's pretty similar. I think it's pretty similar. That's what I was saying before. Especially for the size of it. Yeah. I reckon it's good. Is this 70 inch or 20? <laughs> I think it's 20 or 21. I put something on the screen, um, but I think it's 20. Pretty sure it's 20. Might be 21. I don't know. But it's nice that it's got a wider cut than my other one too, so you cut a bit quicker. But yeah, no, it's good. Do you want to have a go? Yeah. Catch is heavier than mother. <laughs> like, well, it's good that the catch is heavy yeah, though. It yeah, gives it a bit more weight. Bit. Please start with bad boy. I'll oh, just flick it on down here. What? Just flick it on. No, like you're gonna oh. turn that engine on. Like getting serious. Yes, pull it, bro. Is it engaged? No. Why did I have that in the wrong spot? Cut one, right? Hey, hey, hey. Oh, you got to go. Yeah, pull it. Pull it. Pull it. Pull Pull that lever back. Lock. This is your um, drive. Drive. All right. Hold it all the way in. Both. Otherwise, oh, cut speed is slower. couple more cuts um, I gave it a triple believe it or not I didn't film at all um, that's why it's so dark now the backyards nearly covered by shade believe it or not come out back mm. so lush can you see the crisscross a bit hard to see but it's looking good yeah boy tell you what that mower and I'm not just saying this because I got sent this mower for free. I don't really have a biased opinion on it, but it does cut ridiculously clean. Like I would almost say cleaner than my little Rover. Um, it just really cuts nice and clean on the first cut. Like say if you've got long grass and you're cutting down to shorter grass, it just cuts a bit cleaner than my Rover does. <coughs> just from personal experience. <coughs> Sorry. Whoa. Anyway, have a look at how lush this is. 
quiet please check this out it is looking like ridiculous at the moment oh yeah like this lawn is lush as me and like i reckon that's actually shorter than what it was at before i should really double check with the measuring tape but that has to be shorter than 15 mil there's no way because it did scalp a little bit at the front not much though but a little bit but this mower crisp clean cut which is why i love real mowers they just give that nice crispy crisp touch one two three a couple of things i will say from first impressions is even though it's only the six blade reel it was fine with cutting down below 15 mil still got a nice clean cut i did do like a triple cut but it still cut better than my 12 blade reel or my rover nuts um i'm keen to try out the other roller on it just to see how it cuts on it um a couple of things this back roller here i would say it is just a little bit i don't know i feel like it needs rubber on it or something just because when you're on the concrete it does seem to ding up a little bit you sort of can't really avoid that though these wheels are there but sometimes it's hard when you just drop onto the concrete and you smack onto it but it's heavy enough now the handlebars people have said they're flimsy before I think it just takes a little bit of getting used to. They work well. They do what they need to. Um, something else I was going to say that I felt when I was using it. Ah, yes. So when I'm mowing, I start off mowing like this, like with my hands sitting here, like that, and I found that I just tend to wobble back and forth when I was using it like that. So I ended up just putting my hands up here and up there as well. And I'll tell you what, heaps easy to keep it from going wobbly. Because my stripes are like, all over the place but you can see by the end of it I did get used to it and they're pretty straight once I got used to it yeah apart from that good first impressions it's only the first time using it so I'll tell you guys more once I use it a bit more but pretty impressed I'm gonna wrap the video up there but I tell you what good mower um, it's only first impressions though so I haven't used it for long enough to get a really good feel for it so I'll let you guys a bit more about it when I've used it a few more times as well I'm sure I'll use it a couple of times this week because I'm just keen to get out and mow. Just beautiful weather at the moment. Um, but yeah, thanks so much for watching. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Like this video if you enjoyed it. <coughs> I felt that coming the whole time. And you have a good week. Hope you guys can tell the difference, but that is so much quieter. Damn, boy. Just ran out of fuel. Since I'm wearing the Lawn Rebel shirt, thought I would be a Lawn Rebel and put some fuel in this while I'm on the lawn. Watch out. Actually, really scared. This is not me. Oh, crap. Yep, I spilled some. That is the end of my rebellious streak. Here we go. Slight bit on the grass. You watch, that'll be a dead patch in a couple of weeks. Dang it!